welcome to Egam IIS prelims 2022 analysis. In this session, we will be analyzing the science and technology questions in this year's prelims. Before we go into the questions as such, you should be clear about the objective of these videos. First and foremost, this will give you an idea to those who attended the 2022 prelims and our objective is to give a guidance to those who are attending or those who are going to attend 2023 prelims, the way in which they need to study the prelims and the way in which they have to approach the questions in the examination. So in that aspect, we divide the questions into three main categories. One, the questions which are in related to static portion, the so-called static portion which is important under the syllabus of science and technology and those topics or those questions which are related to current affairs and those questions which demands your common sense. So let's dive into the questions. There were total 14 questions from science and technology in, in this year's problems. 14 question means 28 marks. In a tough competition basis, 28, co 28 marks is decisive. So you cannot, you cannot omit science and technology as a subject from your prelims preparation. Out of these 14 questions, we as an institution got a direct hit of 70% from our materials, which is mostly our reading material plus our current affairs materials and uh, from our test series through various channels we provided to the students. So for, for that, we are very proud. Okay, let's start with the questions. The first question we have over here is a purely current affair based question and a simple question as well. So in this question, it's all about open source digital platforms and we know most of our government websites are in the open source digital platform and uh, those websites which is directly beneficial to the people are come under open source digital platform. So even if you don't have any idea about this news which came in the Hindu, you can answer this question 1, 2, 3, 4, which is D, uh, in which all these platforms mentioned in the questions are open source platforms. That is question number one. In last year's newspapers, as well as this, uh, this year's newspaper, Web 3.0, Metaverse, NFTs, Blockchain Technology, all these are important editorials in the Hindu paper. So, Web 3.0 which is asked in this question is an important current affair. So it's a current affair based question in which they asked uh, straight from the editorials, which is web technology enables people, the users, the applications kind of question of web 3.0. So in which the basic information you should be having is the kind of uh, generations or the technology development happened in the internet space. So we had web 1.0, which is purely a static kind of uh, uh, technology. So you can browse through web pages, which will give you static information. That was web 1.0. And it developed into more interactive kind of web, web page internet facility, which we are using currently now, uh, which we are using now and uh, in in which you can send messages you can receive messages in different format as sound as text as pictures and so on so this is the internet revolution which happened from uh, web 1.0 version and along with this development there were some problems the problem mainly uh, related to data it's not only related to data management, it is also more related to uh, the privacy issues. So re related to privacy issue, issues in governments itself, there were, ha there were some discussions and we read those news in the newspapers as well. So it is only fair to expect a question from Word 3.0 in this prelims and they asked it. And in this question, uh, first options is it which web 3.0 technology enables people to control their data of course web 2.0 uh, came up with a privacy issue we expect web, web 3.0 technology will uh, 
kind of uh, solve that problem. So, that is there. So, first statement is kind of correct. First statement is correct. And second statement is the best way to avoid privacy related issues or data ownership kind of thing. Blockchain technology is an important technology in place. So, it comes along with Web 3.0, which is a decentralized system which we are expecting to have. So, statement 2 is also correct. And third one, uh, Web 3.0 will uh, eliminate the kind of control of the corporations who have on the data of people. So, data privacy is the prime aim of this technology, which is discussed in three different statements which all implies to the same thing. So, the answer is 1, 2 and 3 which is a easy question. The next question is related to software as a service SaaS. So, only information you need to know to solve this question is that SaaS is a subscription based technology. You need to, so any uh, in our modern days in our cell phones and all we use subscription based technologies. So, we know the kind of applications. It is a kind of general information as well as uh, current affair kind of question. But it is a fairly easy question in which uh, they give the SaaS buyers can customize the user interface and change the data files, uh, data fields. So, which can be done. So, that uh, uh, that is correct. Option number one. Second is said. Uh, SaaS users can access their data through their mobile devices, of course they can. So, option 2 is also correct. Third one, Hotmail, Gmail, Outlook, Yahoo are forms of SaaS. Yes, they are. They are the typical example which you can read from any kind of materials which discuss on the software as a service technology. So, this is option D is the answer. Moving on, the next question we have of a straightforward question which is factual as well as a current affair related question it is about fractional orbital bombardment system so from the name itself you can guess that it is something to do with orbits all right let's check the options so first option is about hypersonic missile is launched into space to encounter an asteroid approaching earth and explode it in space well you can keep that aside kind of uh, if we have done that it will be a very good big news but uh, unfortunately that's a kind of options which you can keep it aside and uh, second option is like a spacecraft lands on another planet making several orbital motions well see, see, this is something related to orbits again so well we will explore other options as well. A missile is put into stable orbit around earth and deorbits over a target on earth. Well, it is very descriptive in nature that particular option. Next, a spacecraft move along a comet with the same speed and paces a probe on its surface. That is another statement. See. While going through the statement, if you know one key information, which is this technology is uh, kind of related to ballistic missiles. So, with that information, you can easily solve this one. Even though you do not have such an idea about this technology, you can go through these options and you can easily find out that option C is more elaborate, specific and descriptive compared to other options. So, which will, which is uh, a fairly good bet. In this case, it is the answer. So, option C is the answer over here. Next question is about qubits. It is a very simple question, which we have covered in our cap materials, in our notes, in some uh, test series and all. It is related to uh, quantum computing. Very easy question. It's anybody's guess. Next question is about communication technologies in which they have given three distinct technologies. One is our CCTV. Next is RFID technology. Next, uh, which uh, next one is wireless uh, local area networks. 
So, uh, they are asking what type of devices, whether it is a short range, long range. Short range is asked over here. It is a uh, kind of a, uh, kind of notes which we have provided in our CAP 2022 series. All these communication technologies are listed in our material. So, uh, it is a question which will be easy for our students as well. This question can be solved with fair information as well as some common sense. If, if you go through that statements 1, 2 and 3. So, these are closed networks, uh, closed networks fairly short range. So, 1, 2, 3 is the answer. It is a kind of easy question as well, confusing but easy. Next question is about biofilms. It is a kind of random question. Uh, so, it is not much there in the uh, so called current affairs, but the anti -micro antibiotic resistance kind of problems were discussed in the newspapers as well in the last years. So, uh, I will not say it is a very easy question, but uh, kind of you can correct it, uh, you can correctly guess it by going through the options. Let us see. The first option is about biofilms can form on medical implants within human tissues. The usage of words such as can will make this statement as a very general statement. Next is biofilms can form on food and food processing surface. These two options are kind of same and biofilms can exhibit antimicrobial resistance. So, by elimination you might get confused with option A and D. Uh, the third statement you know the specific idea about what is biofilms. Biofilms are the kind of protective layers microbes generate to protect themselves from the surrounding environmental hazards environments. Uh, so, it will also exhibit antibiotic resistance, antibiotic resistance. So, the third statement is correct, but with the specific information solely you can kind of solve the solve that particular question. Next question is about probiotics which is a general science question and uh, in a current affairs standpoint you cannot find many specific uh, articles about probiotic as such but probiotics prebiotics are kind of buzz, buzzwords in the wellness industry and uh, the kind of market because uh, the wellness wellness industry uh, especially because of the therapeutic value of probiotics and prebiotics. Uh, with some general awareness, you can easily solve this problem. The first thing you need to know is, it is referring to bacteria or is microbes, microbes in general, which will help you in digestion. If you know that information, you can easily solve this option 1 and option 3 contains the basic idea of probiotics. So, those are two correct statements. The second statement is wrong because naturally the organisms, the probiotic organisms can be found in human gut. It is a part of our gut biome. There is this word or uh, phrase called gut biome which indicates the kind of organisms live there and which helps uh, in digestion and uh, the kind of uh, benefit they provide like longevity, health, etc. So, st uh, statement 2 is outright wrong. So, the answer is D. Sorry, uh, answer is 1 and 3. C is the answer. No D. With the option 2, you can eliminate two statements and by making, see, in this statement, there is a tricky part, a tricky statement given which is the milk sugars. Instead of milk sugars, if they have given milk proteins, story might have been different which is a discussion for another day. So, anyhow, if you know probiotics helps in digestion, with that statement itself, you can guess that this statement 3 is correct. Next question is about vaccines which is a topic which we covered under our CAP 2022 which is current affairs plus program and we also had 
uh, included questions from this area in our test series as well. So it is all about uh, the type of vaccines uh, which is which kind of a question. The first one is about uh, Covishield, they have given it as a mRNA vaccines, no it is a vector based vaccine. Next one is Sputnik uh, which is a vector based back vaccine that is a true statement. And third one is about Covaxin, uh, inactivated pathogen based va vaccine it is. So, two and three are the correct statements. So, your answer will be B. Next question is regarding solar flare and the effect of solar flare on earth. So, uh, when it comes to this topic, we have discussed extensively about the same topic in our CAP Current Affairs Plus 2022 material as well as we have included some questions related to this topic in our uh, prelims test series as well. So, in this question they have given seven statements. So, which makes it as a kind of easy question. Why? Because more number of statements you have more chances of eliminating. So, by elimination you can easily arrive to the answer. About solar flare you must know one thing and one thing only that is electromagnetism or electromagnetic waves. So, what happens if we have more electromagnetic waves coming into earth? So, in that case it will definitely disrupt our wireless communication systems, satellite systems etc. So, option 1 is true, it will uh, disrupt GPS navigation. Well, tsunami won't occur because of the electromagnetic radiation, so you can eliminate two. So, uh, if you when you go through the options with the second statement itself, without reading any other statements, you can come to an answer which is C, because two is given in option A, B, and D. Very easy elimination. You can save some time as well. Let's go through the other options as well. Option three over here is about power grids. Again, electromagnetic wave can disrupt power grid, intense aurora, aurora if you have read, it is a very common information, common factual information in which auroras are formed because of the solar activity and the um, solar and the earth's magnetic activity. So, it will intensify aurora, so 4 is there, let us check, double check now, 3 is there and uh, orbit forest fires, forest fires uh, no way, so you can eliminate that, forest fire will not happen, orbit of satellite could be disrupted, yes, uh, it can happen and the softwares, because uh, or the satellites, satellites are dependent upon some solar activities as well, the technologies like a solar sail etc is totally dependent upon solar fires and solar storm. Uh, solar storm, so it can disrupt what it can disrupt orbits of satellites. Short, shorter wave communication of aircraft flying over polar region could be interrupted. Yes, solar flare or solar activity will be more in the polar regions. Uh, so this is also a possibility, or this will happen. It's a true statement. So seven. Option C is the right answer. The next question is about the role or function of B cells and T cells, which were lot in discussion in newspapers just because of the Im immunity property. So, because of the COVID pandemic, we had some dis very deep discussion in, uh, in the biotechnology uh, subject in general, and uh, T cells and B cells is one of them. In our study material, module 3, uh, we included some biotechnological application and therapies in that T cell therapy is included, uh, notes are available. So, if one have read that note could have easily solved this, uh, this question and it is also men mentioned in human immunity uh, in the same module itself. So, it is there. And uh, the answer is D, it is depends, uh, it is related to immunity, so it will not suppress, it will not act as a immunosuppressant. So,
so option c is wrong elevate body pains and inflammation no it will not do that option a they protect the body from environmental allergens they are more focused on pathogens so the function of t cells is more related to pathogen not not the allergens so option d is the right answer this is the kind of question which comes from very static areas which is biotechnology which is included or we our institution identified it as a necessary information to have under biotechnology next question is about nanoparticles and the first question claims that nano nanoparticles does not exist in nature well which is a very root kind of statement so you can take it out so if you eliminate option 1 a is gone c is gone which is which are wrong statement again when you read question you need to read the end last line first whether they are asking for the correct statement or not correct statement so be careful there so with that this statement is wrong second statement nanoparticles of some metallic oxide are used in manufacturing of some cosmetics so it's a very general statement which can be considered as true even though you are not sure it's true it's a very general statement possibilities are there anything is possible in science kind of almost nanoparticles of some commercial product which enter the environment are unsafe to humans of course this is also a general statement and a possibility with your common sense you can easily identify it as a right statement so option 2 and 3 option d is the your answer and uh, when we teach science and technology we divide the topic into bio uh, biotechnology nanotechnology space space missions uh, defense like that so you can easily identify the areas while you go through questions like this so you can uh, recall those things you have studied under different topics so this is such a topics very plain easy question if you have read even the introduction of our materials regarding nano nanotechnology we have also included some question in our uh, prelims test series which is also displayed in this uh, presentation that as well this question is about dna barcoding and it comes under a technology called dna profiling so which uh, which is an area we discussed in our test series anyway when you go through the question even if you don't know what exactly is dna barcoding you might know what is bar what is the function of a barcode barcodes are used for identification and profiling so with that information you can easily solve this uh, question the first one is assess the age of plant or animal identification doesn't mean that you can do some kind of analysis especially the things like age and all so option 1 is kind of you can keep it aside let's go to option 2 distinguish among species identification comes under distinguishing between species so this is a right statement with our common sense of the term barcode so option 3 is identify undesirable animal and plant material in processed food the processed food always come from a controlled environment so they need to uh, with the dna barcoding or this identification process identify the first word itself is identify with this identification process you can you know what are all the ingredients went into that food so that information is kind of important which can be done with the uh, dna barcoding system the technology so option 3 is also right d is your right answer one is wrong by guessing 2 and 3 or identifying statement 2 and 3 right you have no way but to but to cross option 1 so the answer will be option d our last question is about acid rain so in this question upsc asked about the kind of pollutants which can cause acid rain straight forward simple question so nitrogen oxide and uh, sulfur dioxide is the k 
candidates which can create acid rain. It's a plain information, information based question. So, it is uh, basically discussed in, in CRTs as well. Option B is the correct answer and we have given this in our test series and in the explanation uh, we also discussed about acid rates and all which will be an addition for those students who read or attempted that those test series. Anyway, this is about science and technology in general. Most of the questions are simple. You could have easily scored some uh, give or take 20 marks easily uh, with some basic information and current of your knowledge. So I wish you all the best. Those who have written the prelim section in 2020, other subjects we will discuss in this coming up episodes. Thank you. Do you want to see your name in the UPSC CAC 2023 rank list? Start your preparation now. Join our prelims come mains course, learn at your convenience. Complete coverage of syllabus. Comprehensive study material updated with previous year questions. Personal attention guaranteed. Test series for prelims and mains. Mains answer improving sessions. Preset classes and test series are also included. Essay mentor. Three years of current affairs coverage. Enroll now by clicking the link.